I'm Della Cruz. Thank you very much for joining us here on Spotlight New Jersey. As we've all seen, bullying is a big issue nationwide and right here in our state. But a new campaign and song called Hashtag The Right Way is trying to change it for the better. Elena Bardaji and Kat London are featured in this video. Oh, that was so beautiful, it's gonna make me cry. <laughs> but I promise I won't, okay? It really does touch your heart. Joining me here in studio right now in the middle, we have singer, songwriter, actress, and improv comedy artist, Kat London of Oceanport, <laughs> Monmouth County. Singer, songwriter, filmmaker, Rich Aveo of Cliffwood in Monmouth County. There is Rich on the very end. And of course, we have Vincent Nsiong, band director at Middlesex High School in Middlesex Borough. Welcome to all of you all. Thank, Thank you, you for so having much. Thank you. How did this Thank whole you. campaign get started? Because it's sorely, desperately needed. Sure, yeah. Uh, well, it actually began with a song. Um, these characters that you saw in the clip with Alina and I, the two teenage female characters in um, a song about bullying, empathy, sympathy, all combined into one. And these two characters are facing that. Uh, and there was a decision that had to be made. Um, do I go with um, recording that song or do I go with recording a full-length album? Well, the song won <laughs> in our eyes and Rich Aveo produced the song at Lake House Recording Studios in Asbury Park and we brought it to Vince and the rest is history. Yep. And tell us about that history. Well, in, uh, in my music class at Middlesex High School, I incorporated a lot of songwriting, uh, particularly in the Guitar Lab classes. And um, just to give as much perspective as I can to my students, I, I call on a lot of my uh, singer-songwriter friends uh, who I've met in the singer-songwriter scene, being, being a singer-songwriter as well. And um, you know, I, I reached out to a few of them. Kat responded with this with this song, and I'd known Kat for a lot of years already. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, it was, it was a very natural uh, move to have her uh, use her song, mm -hmm. and then I, I played it for the students. Um, along with that, Kat uh, put together a video, kind of talking about the songwriting process for the song, and then after that, it, it started to become a hashtag the right way campaign because uh, you know just just how well it was received by my students. It's very catchy. Now the song, as you said, Kat takes a dual perspective look at bullying, how bullying is also a victim and Jersey Jung was involved with this too. Yes she is a uh, Rich Vince and I have been working with Jersey Jung for a few years now and she is the second voice featured uh, the second character on the actual recording and her music is actually quite topical um, her particular songwriting and it, it was great to have her voice as part of my topical songwriting um, her involvement is, was I was just so grateful to actually have her say, yes, I'd like to do it with you. Tell her we said thank you. Yes, thank what you, What is Jersey. the importance of finding harmony instead of passing judgment? Yes. I think that, to me, that was the most important part of the song when, yeah. when Kat asked me to kind of step in as producer. Uh, you know, I took a close listen to the song, and right, right away I caught the, yeah. the duality between the two characters. Um, but I think what, what struck me uh, you know, what hit me the heaviest was the fact that it really hints at where 
where the issue actually really starts, and it's sort of in the home. Um, that is so true. People don't realize that, yeah. Right, and I think the song really speaks loudly to that. And uh, interestingly, you know, you, you mentioned harmony. Uh, not only the musical harmony of the song, which really just, I thought Which was, he was wrote, which is great. <laughs> How did this happen to you, Rich? That. It was sort of accidental, right? Yeah, we were kind of sitting know. in the studio, and like, the, the song was already written, and uh, we just kind of came up with a pretty emotional harmony line to that together. Yeah. We kind of stumbled onto it. Um, but I think the harmony in the song, you know, the, the, way it's, the way it's delivered in the song, I think really kind of uh, speaks to the harmony that we need to keep in mind uh, with each other. That and, is so well yeah. put. I love that. Stay with us. We will be talking much more about hashtag the right way when we come back here on Spotlight New Jersey. Stay with us. Welcome back. We are putting the focus on a new campaign dealing with bullying. It's called Hashtag the Right Way. It was launched at Middlesex High School in Middlesex Borough. Kat London, Rich Aveo, and Vincent Nsiong are here in our studios today. And Vincent, your school principal, Joe Sabato, supported this campaign. Tell us about that. Yes. Um, over the last uh, few years that Mr. Sabato uh, has been with us at uh, Middlesex High School, I, I, we, we've had a really good relationship. Um, I do, uh, you know, as much as I can. I work pretty hard in the music department at our school, trying to do something unique, and you know, and I'm always trying to push the envelope of what uh, we can do in our music department. And uh, when I approached him to try and bring Cat in here, I mean, he trusted me completely to uh, that we that we would do uh, a good thing. Um, so, you know, without any real issues, I mean, we he gave us permission to, to shoot the video uh, at the school. Um, you know, I edited it and I shot it and. All of a sudden, we're here. It's a <laughs> so beautiful it's video. You also have two other performance videos in the works. Tell us about that. Well, we have um, the the one that we're working on uh, very soon. Actually, is a dance video. Uh, two young girls from LA Dance Company in Lincroft, New Jersey. Uh, they choreographed a lyrical dance to the song. So we will be shooting that very soon. Um, I, I'm so. I bet you those are. girls on board, all that collaboration. Would you like to give them a shout out? They are Danielle and Erica, as you said, from LA Dance yes, and Lincroft. Yes, thank you girls. Thank you so much. <laughs> I, you have, they've put in so much work. It looks gorgeous. Their leg can go over their head. It's amazing. I'm like, oh, I wish I could do what you can do. Um, but they're really speaking uh, those, the inner character, the characters, the two female characters are just totally brought forth in their movement. I can't wait to see them. Oh. Tell us about your call for action in the community. Sure. <laughs> I think above all, really, it's, it's um, well, hashtag the right way, the, the message behind the whole uh, campaign, really. Uh, it's just be kind. Yes. Just, just do the right thing. Treat each other the right way. Um, and I think, really, uh, <laughs> That's what because Ellen DeGeneres says every day on her show. Yes. Be kind to each other. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yep. exactly. Exactly. And I think it just goes so far beyond the, the music and beyond the song. It just, you know, right into humanity. Just people just need to be humans and just, just kind of put yourself in the other person's shoes for a second and just, just do the right thing. And after you see right so way. much bad news on a daily basis, sure. we right. need this kindness, don't we? Right. Where can people get this song and the video if they are interested and if they want to book you all to come to their schools and venues? Sure. Uh, we would love that, actually. And the website is my website, catlondonmusic.com. Uh, anybody can reach out to me there, email. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. We would sure. love to come to schools and spread the word. If there's any, uh, any like-minded uh, organizations or, or campaigns out there that feel like they could, they could you know, talk to us and maybe yep. we can join forces and you know, maybe just spread the, the word of kindness a little bit more I mean, uh, together. I mean, just this collaboration here with us three and right. my students, I mean, collaboration is, is everything. I mean, they, if whoever can jo join in and help us uh, would be great. I mean, from anything, if somebody knows how to do 
you know, graphics or knows how to do photos, photos or songs. I mean, sure. I mean, anything that can help spread the word. I mean, that would be great. On and campus, what kind yes. of a change have you all seen in the students there at Middlesex High School in Middlesex Borough after this campaign was launched? Well, I, I, you know it best, but I saw through the, the transition of working, meeting the students first and then working with them, tons more smiles. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> The nice. students are already so great at Middlesex too. I mean, the, especially in the music department. Um, oh my gosh! Uh, you know, Vince has brought us in on separate occasions to kind of you know coach songwriting here and there, do some performances, and so we've gotten to know the kids. But uh, <laughs> there's such a the, the camaraderie, you know, through the course of this campaign and their involvement has has just been so amazing. Mm -hmm. it really has. Yeah. Oh, it's true. The, uh, the, I, I've noticed since then, I mean, again, like everything they said, I mean, my students are already enthusiastic about music, but after the, 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 the campaign, it seemed like there was just a little bit, little bit more, uh, more camaraderie afterwards, just because they were in the video together, they all spoke separately, so nobody knew what each other was going to say, and it turned out to be this amazing universal uh, message that, that they all came up with together. I love the way he said that, this great universal message. Yeah. Thank you so much, Vincent. Cat, love that voice of yours. Thank you. <laughs> and Rich, thank you for the great thank work. We appreciate it. Next, students involved with hashtag the right way. I'm Della Cruz. We are putting the spotlight on a new campaign called Hashtag The Right Way. It's the brainchild of students and staff at Middlesex High School in Middlesex Borough. This is part of their promotional video. Everybody tries to be what they're supposed to be. There's definitely um, pressure to act a certain way. Like if you don't fit into like the cookie cutter almost, you'll be the outlier or like the outstanding person and you just won't fit in with the group. Describe what the cookie cutter mold might be. Not me. <laughs> oh, really the right way to act, for me that is, is just be yourself. Like I think it's just best to be yourself. Everyone's different, and everyone has their own way. You have to look beneath the surface, because everybody's going to be around anyway. I'm the right way to act. Just be kind, be pleasant. I would say the right way to treat others would be through kindness and encouragement. The right way to act as a human is to treat others the way you want to be treated. And I don't um, know why anyone would want to make someone feel, you know, sad or upset. Obviously not a nice thing to do. Like you should just stay calm, just be yourself. Definitely to be very understanding of the fact that well, everyone's unique and different. We're all actually a lot the same. Hashtag the right way. The right way. Hashtag the right way. Hashtag the right way. What is the name of this campaign? Hashtag the right way. Doesn't it just get you right here? Joining me right now, Alina Bardaji, a senior at the school, also Zach Seif and Faith Hunt, who both graduated. Welcome. It's good to have you all of you here. Thank you. Thank you for having us, Stella. My pleasure. Alina, let's start with you. You sang in the video that we showed at the top of this show with Kat London. You're also a huge advocate for this campaign. I am. I was so excited to be a part of this campaign. When a cat asked me to sing in the song, I was incredibly it just overjoyed and moved I, oh my gosh I was moved after the video um, of all of us um, came out it brought me to tears I was just so moved by the video and you have such a beautiful voice and the way you sing in that video like thank you're singing you. from your core you're feeling this thank you oh my gosh I mean when she um, when she wrote when she wrote the song and when um, our band director mr. I showed it to us I heard the song and I heard the two different perspectives and I just, I almost cried because you could really hear um, 
like the message of the song. Mm -hmm. And the pain that people are going through that mm -hmm. came through so clearly. Zach, yeah. what does it mean to you and Faith, this whole campaign, and what inspired you to get involved? Oh, the campaign means a lot to me. Um, just being around a plethora of people throughout the day, whether it be at school or work or just in my social life, there's so much going on right now that just really brings out the worst of people. And I think we need to focus back to the core of the American morals in society of just treating others the way you want to be treated. And no matter how many times your mother told you as a child, it still holds true today because the only way to really gain respect, in my opinion, is to give respect back. So well put. That is true. Thank you. Faith? Um, I decided to uh, become a part of the campaign because I was, I'm good friends with Kat London and anything she's doing I'd love to be a part of. So I heard that she was doing a campaign. I, I didn't really look too much into it. I just, was, I just signed up immediately and then looked into it afterward because I knew it would be a great thing. And then once I found out exactly what it was, um, I was all for it um, because um, me being um, a trans kid, I was all for spreading kindness and compassion and fighting against any sort of bullying because just basically who I am just sets me up for that and I'd like to spread the message that I shouldn't have to and that I don't have to grow up in a place where I should expect to be bullied. Exactly, Faith. Have you seen a difference in the atmosphere and the way people treat you now after this campaign was spreading a message all, all throughout the campus? Um, it wasn't like an immediate change where like everyone just suddenly just opened their eyes to it. No, we but still have a lot of work to do. There's still <laughs> there a, lot, a lot of, of work to do. and attitudes, yeah. But there is, there is definitely some improvement to, there are people that have seen it and have, and have actually come up to us and they've shown um, that they're very moved by the campaign. There's, it's definitely touched some people and I'm, I hope that as it goes on, as this spreads to other places, and as people talk about it, it'll just grow and grow and it'll affect more and more right. people. And like you know with your presence change. here, just like Caitlin Jenning, the fact that you are speaking so articulately here on this show, that should go a long way in helping to change people's attitudes too. Go ahead, Zach. All right. Yeah, as Faith was saying, it's definitely been a gradual change, but the whole Middlesex Borough High School um, as a whole tends to have a bigger like tolerance towards people who aren't exactly as they seem or people who choose a certain sexuality or people who are a different ethnicity, religion, whatever it may be, we have a very high tolerance over there and everyone is so welcoming of others. And after the campaign, I only saw a greater increase of tolerance and acceptance. So it's a great atmosphere and the campaign only helped to further it. Let's keep that momentum going. Alina, Zach, Faith, thank you all very much for coming on and you just continue with this great work, okay? Thank you. Thank you. thank you. Next, two more students talk about hashtag the right way. Our topic today is the campaign hashtag the right way at Middlesex High School in Middlesex Borough. Rosemary Davidson is a senior there. Kylie Olmstead is a sophomore. Welcome to both of you ladies. We love this campaign so far. What got you inspired to get involved? Um, I go to Middlesex High School and when the word was spread about it, there was a cattle call for people to be interviewed and questioned about it. And I'm a person who likes to spread the kindness and I don't really want to make anyone feel uh, Hurt, yeah, hurt or, or anything, insignificant. Right. And I jumped on the chance to spread the kindness and a good message for a change. <laughs> Same thing with you. Yeah, I don't like it when people do anything that just hurts other people just just to make uh, higher their own self-esteem or whatever. It's just you don't need to do that. You don't need to belittle somebody else to make yeah. you feel good exactly. and important. What were you all seeing on campus? What do you see on campus? Do you see a lot of bullying? Generally, no. Generally, everyone in Middlesex is nice to each other because we're such a small school. And if one thing happens, everyone knows. And people tend to keep each other. Do people stick up for each other if they see an instance of bullying on school? 
Do you think they have the courage to do that? Generally, yeah. Would you two have the courage to do that? Definitely, yeah. Why does that mean so much to you? And what, what are you actively doing on campus to spread the word as far as the campaign it goes? For me, I just try and be nice to everyone. I'm not, like, even if I don't really like the person, I'm gonna be nice to them either way because I don't want to hurt other people. I just want to be nice to people and maybe if I do that then they'll be nice to other people and then it kind of just spreads. You want to kind of pay it forward yeah. and keep that cycle going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that sound of that too. Do you think the media has a lot of this plays a role in the way people treat each other? I mean look at this world of social media <laughs> but we are so unsocial. <laughs> right. It's so easy to just post something without thinking twice about it and you can just say anything and then it's out there and once it's out there whoever's seen it has seen it and it's not always the easiest thing to explain what you meant. And it's so easy to hide behind that text or that right. message. People don't realize that. They're anonymous, so therefore I can say whatever I want, and, you know, and it won't matter. But that, that, that's not true. It hurts somebody somewhere. Right. Exactly. So ladies, what do you want to say to people as we close? Thank you for listening to us and Thank spread the kindness. Oh, that is so well put. Rosemary Davidson, Kylie Olmsted, thank you so much for coming on. And you all keep up this great work. We could use so much of this. And it starts at home and in the schools, and we just keep that whole cycle going, as you said. And let's tell everybody again what this campaign is called. Hashtag, Hashtag the, the right, right way. way. One more time, ladies, with feeling. Hashtag, Hashtag the right way. way. Thank you very much. And if you'd like to find out more about Hashtag the Right Way, log on to my Facebook page, Twitter, and News12.com. I'm Della Cruz, New Jersey. The spotlight is on you and Hashtag the Right Way.